What is going on, guys? I hope you're having an amazing day. Today, we're going to be looking at Michael Noah with the base Gen Z Girls on the Viral Trans clip. Now, if you guys don't know, Michael Noah went on the Whatever podcast. I believe that's what it's called, the Whatever podcast. And basically, he ended up debating this feminist woman on the concept of transgenderism and if it's real, if it's fake, if this is actually a thing that's, that people should be worried about and all of this stuff like that. Now, with that being said, before we get into the video, make sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps. And without further ado, let's get right in. Chase, would you rather smash the hottest trans woman in the world or the oldest woman in the world? Honestly, bro, the oldest woman in the world, because then I wouldn't be gay. Yes. <laughs> you That's true. just want me to uh, just rip you the uh, uh, swear uh, Are you like, uh, uh, Chase, yeah. how dare you be transphobic? Yes, actually, yeah. what the do you mean? Yes, that was Because so if necessary. I had sex with a trans woman, I'd be having sex with a biological man. And I don't want to do that. What? The question is, that's not what you said, though. That's fine. That's what I'm saying. That's not gay. That's not gay. And I don't care if you're doing this for like whatever, but like, shut up, actually. I'm, I'm doing this. Like wait, wait, wait. What does she mean? He does, she doesn't care if he's doing this for whatever. No, that's actually gay. Like, that's a biological man having sex with another biological man if it's a trans woman. That's, that's a man. So that just tells you how delusional she is. This, this lady at this panel right here. She's so delusional that she thinks that a trans woman is actually a woman. It's the reason why it's the asterisk over, like, with the trans part of it. That's an actual, just a part of the actual word now. Come on. We got to use common sense here. You need to respect his identity. That's too far. That's why, don't you, far. why don't you make that's me shut the up? Because I have an opinion that differs from yours. She's right. I mean, that's really hateful, she's bro. Not, she's that's not, hateful? It would technically be homosexual. A trans woman is a biological man. I want to meet you. Not. not technically. That is homosexual. That, that's just a factual statement right there. That is, that's homosexual. Anybody that believes other otherwise is just delusional. What else would you say to that? Like, genuinely, what else would you say to somebody like that? Honestly, you're you're just as mentally ill as the person that has gender gender dysphoria. So it's not fucked up. It's real. That's it's his. true. Okay, if you guys want to respect factual. gender identities, that's his though. That's his sexuality. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say that. I'm not allowed to say that. What? What? Yeah, you know, you know what God said? It said He made the man and women. <laughs> he made the man. And he women. actually said man, woman, and gay. them. I'll pass on that. Thanks, though. So. No, he said you God, God created man. Nice. male and female created you them. So them. So there's them. Stay them. The no, the them refers to the men and the women. No, but, but he man said is the, them. The so it's like they them. Yeah, well, he's referring to both of them. But he said them. So he's like saying man created men and women in them. So he. No, no. He's he said in the beginning God created man. Both male and female created he them. Them. These, yeah, these are the them. types. So of while man. other countries right. are planning yeah. to invade us with de right. debating they them. The you, whole I mean, thing. You, when you refer to multiple people, you say them, right? <laughs> or yes. you could be referring to they them. It's English. That doesn't exist. They <laughs> them don't exist. <laughs> I, don't, I, I hate to break I've, it. I've to met you, some. But. It's crazy. You you know, know, you've met very mean. confused men and sometimes very confused women, but you have never met most non-binary people. I meet are women, not men. Yeah. Just gonna put that really? out. Really? Why do you think that is? Um, maybe because they don't have to face the consequences of all their friends being jacked. That makes zero sense. What she did say? Did you just catch what she did say right there? She just said most non-binary people I met are women. So woman, you get you, did you just hear what she did say right there? That's how delusional she is that she doesn't even understand what she's saying. She just said she literally just said most non-binary people that I've met are women. So what are you saying? That what? Backasses, a yeah. woman trans, a woman coming out as non-binary probably will have a friend group that will accept her more than. Hmm. A man. Than man, than yep. a man coming out as, as non-binary. Oh, you're. Uh, I thought you were saying the women go, get into this stuff because they're really messed up or something more than the men are. But you're saying that this is a real category of being, and it's just the men are afraid to admit it. <laughs> you can't um, seriously believe that. Exactly. I do believe there's people who are. I don't know if it's ambiguous or what it is. There's people who were born in their wrong gender. There's people who are mm -hmm. born and they 
don't feel like they fit in either box. Do I think people are born that believe they're cats and stuff? No, no. I don't believe that shit. No, there are do people believe, who think that though. I, okay, do I, I'm saying no, I don't. I'm not saying okay. that's correct, but there I haven't seen anything to back that up. But I just so, so the, why the are, fact that you guys why in what in anyone's right mind would somebody go from like Bruce mm-hmm. Jenner for example, Caitlyn Jenner now yeah. for example. Did you just successful, name? Successful athlete, Olympian, whatever, <laughs> all this stuff. Had a was married to Chris Jenner, had a life of whatever. Unless she truly believed that and felt that deep inside of her core, she ultimately ruined her life for basically a whole decade. No, he became he became much more relevant and famous than he was. I, I highly, true. highly Obviously, disagree. Obviously, he was on, he was on magazine yeah. covers. Well, Everybody was got, talking about him. More he's about been him. on magazine covers. She's an Olympian. That's yeah. not... She's but not had, on... Tra- he, she's not on He was an Olympian many decades trans. ago. No, but he, exactly. was on, he was on a magazine cover for the first time in decades. But after she came out as a transgender, she got way more hate. Exactly. And, her, and she got... The, the only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about. But she probably made more money. She got way more hate. She also got way more love by the so-called leftist media. So what do you mean? I don't understand what their point is right here. Like, is she saying, because she said who in their right mind would want to do this? Well, that's the whole entire point. They're not in their right mind. That is why gender dysphoria is diagnosed as a mental illness. I don't understand what people don't get about this. Guys, if you are watching this right now, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Keep watching this. It gets way more interesting. But no, she <laughs> okay. She so lost take away okay. But the, re- Sorry, the reason he take did away that, Caitlyn Jenner. You know take what? Okay, reason... hold on, hold on. Put on put on your your basic day to day person. Okay, you're not gonna like this one. Okay, <laughs> I, no, not you. <laughs> you for example. Okay, there's people like you who are super conservative, Handsome. right in their views and stuff, and then. <laughs> They wake up and they want to be a woman. <laughs> and it's, but is it because they just woke up and want to be a woman or is it because they finally found the courage to well, come out with something they've been suppressing the their whole lives? I just don't understand why you guys think somebody would risk... Like, yes, yeah, I'm sure be, some people can benefit from coming out as trans, but most people do not benefit from that. So why would somebody risk their whole livelihood, not even yeah. just career, but literally... Trans, especially black trans people. Have a sexual fetish. Also, they have a why did- well, that too, because it's a sexual fetish. Also, because that is genuinely... A mental illness. These people are mentally ill. You cannot treat them as sane people necessarily. Well, I'm not going to say that they're completely insane, except you can't treat them as if they have a fully developed mind, a fully functioning mind. It's a whole entire point to why I don't understand their argument here. Do they not understand the science behind all of this stuff that has been explained for, at this point, hundreds of years, centuries? Ever since, you know, all that other stuff, I'm not even going to go get into that right now. So, yeah. Does it bother desire. you? I, think I feel like, so why does it bother complex. people? Because it isn't true. But yeah. Why does it like, bother why you? Is it's that, not yeah. harming you. It's not hurting anyone. Well, it like, is harming. It is. So, do you go around, do you go around fighting because people who think the world's flat? Do you go around you're like, fighting You're harming them? society. No. Well, b- because in the case of transgenderism and this ridiculous idea that men can secretly be women and vice versa, mm-hmm. there are very practical effects that we see. Like, for instance... If we pushed onto this, children. Yeah, well, it's obviously pushed yeah. onto children. We're casting children though. left yeah. and right, which is insane. But mm-hmm. also, if there, if we accept transgenderism at all, even for one single adult person, yes. that means that certain things will change in society. Women don't get to Maybe have Maybe things own need anymore. to change. Women don't get to have, well, no. perhaps, but at least one could have the debate. W- women don't get to have their own bathrooms. Women don't get to have their own sports teams. Women don't get to have their own specific rights and places in society. Protections yes. in civil rights law, they lose that because some men can say that they're women. And so th- it seems to me the obvious question to ask is not, well, what does it matter to you? Who really cares? First of all, the people pushing this seem to care a lot. But Seriously. the question to ask is, is it true? Are these men who say that they're women actually women or are they men who are confused or who have weird sexual fetishes or have disordered desires? gender wise they hold on before she even speaks that was a master class of a answer right there what he just said right there was completely and utterly factual why are we taking this stuff serious it's literally a delusion do you understand what i'm saying you cannot affirm a delusion because if you affirm a delusion they get further and further into that delusion it gets way worse um, I, I made a previous video on the Neil deGrasse Tyson video of him, you know, talking about this stuff. And I said that me personally, I work with people with mental illness. I work with people with, you know, yeah, with, I'm just going to say mental illness. And basically, like, you know, clients, you know, that I have, they believe that they're things that they're not. For instance, one of my clients thinks he's a firefighter. I can't affirm that he's a firefighter because if I did that, it would just be affirming his delusion, you know. He'd be trying to go outside, you know, spray people's houses and all of that stuff, which he actually tried before. You get what I'm saying? So if you 
let people live out what they think in their head, they're not going to be living in reality, if that makes any sense. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying. I hope I articulated that well. But let's keep going. Keep watching with me, guys. They Obviously are biologically, the they're not. So What's gender, the difference? There's, the difference is like science, and then the other difference is like how you feel <laughs> in your head, and the way you are in society. I knew what she was there's doing. a huge difference. The difference really? Is like the chromosomes, and then your mentality. Nothing. Okay, so mm -hmm. if there's a dis disagreement between your how I what feel. You're saying, your physical self and your, uh, your uh, emotional self, your yes. psychological self, then why would you not just change your mind? If the options are chop up your body to make your go through gruesome See, surgeries, if you're living with your mind your for your whole life and you understand like, oh, I've been trying to change it. Like she said, most people are repressing it and are trying to change it, but they just can't. So why would I, it's, this is something physical that I can easily go change instead of not trying easy. to retrain your thought process over and over and over and over. I bet it's, it's not like, it's because so they'd rather be dead. Though. They would rather be dead than live in the lie but anymore. The, but is the problem, it, I mean, it's if, getting to. If you bring up like suicidality, there is no evidence that having these surgeries and pretending to be the opposite sex reduces any, any of that whatsoever. So that there's always going to be, because there's going to be, yeah, there's going to be dysphoria forever, especially yeah. from people like you guys so going on help. the internet. No, it's it's from themselves because they know <laughs> bashing them every day. Yeah. No, that's no, my no, whole not, thing. I'm not bashing anybody. I'm not no, saying you. Okay, you, maybe I shouldn't say maybe Chase because my whole thing because we I didn't even get to speak on the. But what he said was totally right. Okay, so let me since we're going to go back to that, the video that got played, right? If Chase, if you. Don't want to sleep with a trans woman? That is your prerogative. I don't give a fuck what you want to do. That is mm -hmm. your preference. Mm -hmm. That does not make you transphobic at all. But to get up on a podcast that has almost 4 million viewers and to say that any man who chooses to sleep with a trans woman is now taking part in homosexual gay activities, I feel like that is wrong. I feel like that is hateful. That's wrong? You feel like that's wrong? That's completely and utterly factual. What do you mean that that's wrong? He The question, because it was like a super chat, the question was literally, would you sleep with a the oldest woman in the world or a trans woman? And he said, the oldest woman in the world, because I would literally be gay if I slept with a trans woman, which is completely and, uh, like, completely and utterly factual. It's not like he just says something out of his ass out of nowhere. He literally just said what the facts are. You would be gay if you did that because that's a biological male. What is wrong with what he said? I feel like that was offensive and I feel like that was just wrong. No, it's not wrong. He was just setting, he was just setting a fact at that point. I'm not even going to say he was setting his opinion. That was a fact. And, oh, and I think it was just wrong. I think it, no, I think it's wrong that you're sitting here trying to convince people that man can be woman and woman can be men. That's what I personally think is wrong. I truly and utterly believe that. And for somebody who claims to be so religious, so God, new, born again, that's virgin, precisely Christian, why. I think that's very hateful of you. If you want to say, I personally wouldn't do that, that's not for me, then that, that's your thing. Answer the question. But that's you, that's how it, you do it. it it's hate, a step further. Is it hateful to say that a man can't really secretly be a woman? I'm saying it's hurtful to say that sleeping for any man to sleep. But the first question you have to answer is not sleeping that's not, with but him. I'm talking first, about what happened on the podcast. No, I, but I'm, I'm referring I, to I'm that. I'm picking up on his point. It, the question is, what is a trans woman? And so what Chase would say and what I would say and what everybody throughout all of human history until five minutes ago <laughs> would say is that a trans woman <laughs> is just a man who is pretending Facts. to be a woman. So I'm the only one who thinks this in the I think, world. Yeah, you're, like, you're, you're in the minority. No, yeah. she's A lot not, of people yeah. are saying it now. She's the, why, why would you say that? I'm the only person that thinks this in the world. No, of course you're not the only person that thinks this in the world. That's why we have this whole entire, like, whole type of hysteria about this stuff. Because you're not the only person. There's a lot more people that are thinking these things because of the culture we live in today. It is pushed on to people through, I want to say, wokeism. I don't like using the word woke that much. So I'm just going to use it. Through wokeism, through all of these other things like that. So come on. Come on. Now, but it's it, you're historically speaking, yes, Z statistically zero percent of people ever have thought that a man wearing no, a dress cultures and a that's where they, so incorrect. There's cultures where they're. Then what about in Thailand? They don't know. What about the femboys in Thailand that yeah, have well, existed for they're, decades and decades right, and decades and decades? There's and this third weird living. thing in certain cultures, like a modern. So you don't like don't don't erase them. But then you're erasing them. That's yeah, like me trying to erase your religion. Even, if I could be like, oh, well, there's some people who believe in this one no, ancient but, thing called the Bible. But yeah, some of them were in Rome with him. But even when you're talking about when you're talking about this weird species of prostitute in Thailand. Mm -hmm. Weird species of prostitute. Yes, you don't understand how that sounds. You know, that's, that's sounds what, precise. Weird species. <laughs> oh, so now we're not human. So back to no, that. No, not human. <laughs> a species in the I'm technical term. Hold on. Let, 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 him, be... let him explain. Go yeah. Ahead. So it's a, a type. So even there's this weird phenomenon in Thailand, for example, where there are these guys. That a lot of American surgeries. men go to. Uh, yeah. Well, they, they <laughs> probably yeah. shouldn't do that. That's not a but point. The the reason that that is different is because it's not those people are not saying I am really a woman. That's a weird, bizarre cultural carve out that exists in Thailand. 
smiling. The difference here is, and what you are saying, is that a man who puts on a dress, puts on a wig, chops his body up, calls himself a woman, is actually a woman. And I just don't see how you could believe that that is true. So she has a vagina, shit, probably fucking tighter than mine, double D racks, hair down to the fucking ass. That's just not true. It's a gaping hole in the body. I wish, come on, really? Like, you're going to affirm the delusion this much, probably tighter than mine, this and really? Come on, come on. Is this how far society has come? You know, sometimes I just feel like, you know, I've I seen Andrew Tate say this one time, send the asteroid. That's kind of how I feel sometimes. Send the asteroid. Just send, just send the asteroid. Come on. Come on. Just psh, crash us all down. That's, that's restart civilization. Because really? Come on. Looks like a woman. Talks like a woman. Does everything besides menstruate and can give birth. What is, what is separating <laughs> her between the woman who are infertile, who can't have birth, or a woman no. after menopause, or the woman who never get their period? So physically, Are they not women either? Physically speaking, one, those are pretty big differences. And there are other differences, too, in terms of their bone density and the shape of their Oh, the yeah, because you're going to, yeah. But, but also, there are the chromosomal differences, <laughs> which is that the, the, that woman, as you call it, still uh, chromosomally is a man. And then beyond that, are you actually saying that women are just their well, bodies? That's... That a woman is nothing more than... Are you saying a woman Chromo? is just her chromosomes? She's nothing more no, than no, no, just I'm, her chromosomes? I'm saying a woman is much more than all of that. That actually... Yes. Me too. That's why I'm saying but, that. But not just if, chromosomes. If she feels... But, since a, the day she was woke up in this... What I'm saying. Yes, and that person woke up the first day of their conscience and since they can remember, they remember their soul being a woman or a man or whatever. Well, that's trapped. usually not true. That's well, usually a sexual thing. It's not true. You don't understand why you see call and feel that, that way. Well, that's, that's no, why I'm So do you correcting. believe people aren't gay either then? Do you believe nobody's gay and they just do it for attention well, no, as well? Well, no, to say I am gay means that I have an attraction to a, a member of the same sex. Okay, yeah, I'm, so, just, I'm just clarifying because a lot of people who usually do this 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 trans argument are also no, arguing no, nobody, that gay people don't know. No, a lot of people that usually use this argument also say that gay people don't exist. What do you mean? No, they don't. No, they don't. Come on. Gay people exist. It's simple. Gay people exist because they just like the same place. That's all that is, which is very simple, which is a thing rooted in reality. People like the same sex. But when you say that, you know, me as a man, say say me, for example, and I say me as a man, I can change to a woman. That is not rooted, like, rooted in reality. So come on. Come on. You guys have to be a bit more reasonable than this. I think you guys can do better than this. Come on. Denies, nobody denies that certain people have different sexual attractions. In fact, people trans- deny it all the time, actually. They say it's a choice oh. that they're choosing to do that. They're oh, not well, born they're that cho- way. They're certainly choosing to engage in certain behaviors. But yeah, that's yeah. choosing to engage because it's a, it's your biological driven No, you can duty. suppress your own desires. I have all sorts of desires that True. I suppress. Yes, you can suppress your own go, desires, but cooking. why should I somebody... I want to get a, a delicious hard seltzer. Yes, you can suppress that. your own desires, but why should somebody <laughs> have to suppress if it's two legal consenting adults? Why should somebody have to suppress that just they because should. of the because same Because we gender? have obligations to reality and to the truth. What's the reality? Sure. The reality is we the should be a man is, and a woman. A man That's the reality? The reality is that a man in a dress is not a man. Or is not a woman. Okay, but now okay, I was so trying to get away from this something is, else. This is Hold why on. the yeah. whole, yeah. Thing, yeah. whole thing goes back to where it's called transgender and not trans sex. Like, it's, you can't change your sex. To the down to the bottom, your chromosomes are going to be your chromosomes. But right. they're changing the the their mic. gender. And gender is a man-made thing. It's something that we've created. We've created genders and gender roles in our mm. society. We did not create sex. Yes, there's men and females. Why? <laughs> I just always think about this video. This guy said, but why? And like when he said, but why? I really felt it like, but why? What's the actual purpose of this? You know, is it to make yourself feel better? Because if it's to make yourself feel better, it's not just about how you feel. It's not just about being necessarily, you know, having fun and being happy. It's also about fulfillment. It's also about your obligation to the world. It's also about keeping the world around you turning in a succinct way. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's also about just having society cohesively function with this type of stuff that's going on right now so society is not cohesively functioning if that makes sense i don't know if that actually makes sense you know those string of words so you guys get what i'm saying you guys understand exactly what i'm saying anybody that's watching this that has the same mind frame as me you understand what i'm saying but let's keep watching let's keep watching keep watching with me guys let's see what's happening female that goes back to science or god whatever you like to say if gender is man-made then you're saying it's artificial it's not real it's not real oh okay so then who cares Exactly. So why do you care? Thank you. Oh well, if it's so, if it's not real, then the trans woman is just a man. For you, you maybe. Because you said the gender is not real. She's a woman, but and I, that's I fine. think gender is. Real. And I don't think it should bother you, and I don't think it should get all these little incel men whoa, angry whoa, about whoa. it. You know, do, do you not whoa, think? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, okay, I think the An issue is that is this whole conversation it makes the um, <laughs> the the male role right. It kind of creates the more. 
I don't know. I just think the the whole argument about gender it's so pushed out into the into our society. I don't think it's like this in the rest of the world right now. Right. There's so many other issues like the, the whole rest 60, of the world knows what like men and women. Sixty two yes. different yeah. genders. Yeah, it's uh, kind of insane. I mean, I don't want to, I'm not hateful towards anyone. I think as long as you're a good person, you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I just don't like that it's pushed onto children because like a lot of people that are getting these surgeries, they regret it. And then a lot of children that are put onto hormones. It really consider this, consider this, right? If a, if you affirm a mentally ill person, a person that's delusioned, if you affirm him or her, whatever, you know, and then you say, Hey, you can change the sex. Why would this person then not think that this is genuinely a possibility for everybody and I would just push it onto children? So if you affirm the mentally ill patient that is an adult, why would that mentally ill patient then not push that rhetoric to kids and to the people that they know that are younger? You know what I'm saying? It's natural progression, and I don't care what anybody says. This is all a domino effect. Still don't care what anybody says. You know, I'm unapologetically, you know, just pro reality. That's what that's really all I have to say. Just pro reality. And anybody that's watching this right now, I'm unapologetic with that. And so if you don't like that, if you don't, you know, agree with me, that's fine. Except that's what I am. And I'm going to keep preaching this. So, yes. Really messes uh, with your... Small, and also, small. obviously, this is, your, this is something sure that is, is brand new to our, our society. And there needs to be a lot of more research done and more understanding about it. And, like, there needs to be laws done. So I understand. I don't think kids should be getting their parts change but i guess my question they is what they have to be 18 that's already in place no no, no that's not you know the transition process can start much younger than hormones yes but they and, 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 and in america and, yeah. yeah but in america you cannot get surgery transition. before the age of 18 yeah, but it, it, can put you, can, you on you can some hormones legally but, you cannot get surgery yeah they because the laws go, are somewhat ambiguous they, so they it, can cut your yeah they can but like i used to teach a lot and just from experience and you know i don't know much of it so i don't want to like say too no, much, you're right about almost everything. I'm <laughs> very impressed with how like, right, right you are and about wrong. Like, I don't, you know, mm. don't tell me. Like, you know. Oh, I'm telling you, <laughs> I don't care. You can tell me no. <laughs> right. So basic I used to things, teach a lot like of kids, rules, yeah. right? And a lot of kids I notice that have a lot of these gender issues, and then they wear their gender on their sleeve, and then they're like, I'm gay, or you know, like yeah. they they are very they're like they tend to have depression. They're very like I feel like they need support yeah. and help not just in the gender department where people are pushing them oh mm. maybe you should be gay or maybe you should do this like there's much i'm going to keep making the same point because i'm going to keep making the same point excuse me basically it's all, it all boils down to one thing if it's naturally a mental illness that means that it is something wrong with their mind if it's naturally something wrong with their mind because it's a mental illness of course they will be experiencing other issues it just makes complete sense Right? Does everything not go in circle back to exactly what I was saying at the beginning? That this is a mental illness and this is a delusion? It all goes back to the same exact thing. And if you want to call that hateful, I don't understand what's wrong with you. I genuinely cannot fathom somebody calling what I just said right there hateful or some type of hateful rhetoric. It's, it's just not the person that's speaking. Not the, I just think it's not. But let's keep going. I had a girl come up to me. I was giving a speech and she said, hey, Michael, thanks for speaking out on the transgender thing because... I had gender dysphoria, and she was young. I mean, this girl was in her, it was a teenager, and she said, I had gender dysphoria, and, and my psychologists were starting to push me down this path of transition. Like that's wrong. But, I believe that's wrong. Well, she said, luckily, I had good parents and a good priest, and they said, you're not actually a boy, and guess what happened? She kept going to see psychologists. They figured out that actually she had undiagnosed autism, so they mm. started treating her autism, and mm. what do you know? Her gender dysphoria greatly abated. Now it's basically... Okay. It all starts... It goes, goes back to... And there you go. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm pretty much finished with this video right here. Just for the simple fact that it's a, it's a bit more left, except this is a very long video. So I don't want to take up the whole entire time. This is a lot of time I just took up from you guys right here. Except with that being said, what every single thing Michael Noah just said right there, I think is obviously facts. You guys heard what I said. Not, I hope that a lot of you agree with me. Because if not, I genuinely think that you're delusional. So <laughs> that's that, you know. And then, you know, the girl right here that he was arguing against that I'm going to put on a title for the thumbnail. She's very, she's like too far gone. She's straight up delusional. Don't understand where she got her thought process from. Don't know who explained these things to her in this very confusing manner to the point to where she says most binary, non-binary people I know are women. That's ridiculous. I mean, that was, I really caught that. I barely caught that, guys. I barely, barely caught that. I'm, I'm kind of tired right now, so I barely caught that. But she said most non-binary people that I've met are women. That's an oxymoron, is it not? Is, is that not the definition of that right there? 
Because if you're non-binary, that means by definition, you're not supposed to be a woman, according to them. Now, I'm not going to be using their definitions, of course, because I think it's delusional. But still, according to what she believes, what she said right there was an oxymoron. But with that being said, I digress. My name is Jay Dottie. I think that's it, pretty much. Like and subscribe. Peace.